Are you dying for a home makeover, but maybe lacking a big budget? How about going shopping in your house? I met up with an interior designer who shows us how to get a magazine style by refreshing what you have. Hmm, take a look. So I'm here at Kelly Burke Interiors with the Kelly Burke, named one of the designers in Connecticut to watch by Connecticut Magazine. Yeah, oh. congratulations. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. So during the pandemic, I think we're all getting sick of looking at our own walls. We've noticed everything that's wrong with our house. And what if we can't just start over and do everything you want? How do you refresh? Well, I think it's actually better not to just say, I'm gonna take everything out of my room and start over. First of all, A, today it's very impossible to get product. So I think it's great to look at what's really important in your space, take it out and edit it and say, I have to have this. This is my grandmother's like very precious thing that I have to remind myself of every day. But that doesn't mean you have to have grandma's style. Kelly has some bold ideas for this antique chair. I love the Griffins, I love the drama, I love the antiquity of it all. But yet, it looks a little drab right now. It doesn't fit like today's trend, so I'm gonna trend it up. Why not do a really fun, hot pink, Barbie pink color? So I don't want you to be afraid, I want you to take risks. If you're gonna go for the challenge and you're gonna strip this down and sand it and put all the effort in, make it fun and make it fabulous. But if you're going to try and DIY, take your time. Kelly has her crew show us how you can get a professional look Carlos Perez is a master painter. So step one, primer. Primer, and in this case, oil primer is the best, and you have to wait 24 hours to dry completely. Kelly says, go for gloss. High gloss and lacquer is big right now. Lacquer is so much fun. I would go lacquer, you always love it. I'm saying gloss, gloss, okay, gloss. Exactly. Carlos says after priming, it's best to spray the paint. Now, if you don't want to buy a sprayer, be careful not to put too much paint on the brush. Less paint and more coats helps avoid the dreaded DIY drips. You have to go through the corners, through the spaces, and be patient. It's important to be patient. Sometimes we, we're not patient. We want to see the result as fast as, as we can. Kelly will reupholster it with a fun fur. All we did is we just took this great fluffy uh, faux fur and we put it on top and then stapled it all the way around the edges. And then you can take this and once this is all dry, we pop this right into the top and you have a really fun look. So you just need a staple gun? Just a staple gun. Make sure it's a statement because it's such a little piece, you gotta go bold. And what about Aunt Millie's old art? You can paint that too. Don't throw the art away. Don't put it on the doorstep and say, somebody here, it's free. Go get some fun wild paint and be, don't be scared. Just go in. I'm going to actually paint this in a more modern version. I'm going to take the paint. I'm going to leave some of the flowers showing, but then I'm also going to paint it right into the frame. And we're going to make it a modern piece of art. Here's the lacquer after. The pink really pops. Oh my God, it's done and I'm so excited. So it's really fun and flashy and it's going to make the whole room sing. Speaking of the whole room, why not reupholster your couch instead of getting a whole new one? You can add some fun custom touches. Even if you wanted to buy a new couch right now, you can't get one, right? No, you cannot. We, there's still a lot of fabric left, which is, thank God, there's a lot of fabric left, but you would have to bring it to an upholstery company. So we find the, those pieces that are important, but also you have to make sure they're good quality. You don't want to take pieces that maybe are not the greatest quality that you got at a, you know, a local big box store that are only meant to be for a five year time period. You want something that's more heirloom quality. And you can use a great local company like Oak and Velvet in Middletown to reupholster. Today, there's amazing fabrics that are totally practical. They're actually indoor-outdoor fabrics, and my favorite line right now is perennials. Oh. Um, so they make these incredible textures. They also make rugs, which are literally like you would see in your living room today, but you can pour bleach on them, and they'll be fine. Wow. So perennials is a great company. Feel this. Okay. Oh, it's so soft. It's almost like a... Like a velvet? It's or white velvet. Oh, right. white velvet. Okay. Yes. So I've always dreamed of a white couch. You're telling so me I can is, have a white couch? This is your white couch. Even though I have kids and cats? I'm going to tell you to spill red wine on that and feel so comfortable that you just spilled the red wine and not care. Have old furniture you want to make some money on? Check out consignment shops. These awesome aqua lamps came from Revival Home in West Hartford. Someone's trash was Kelly's treasure. I'll go in and purchase it and think that this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen and I'll refresh it by putting on a flea market find. How about an old table? 
I actually have a table just like this in my garage that is from Dennis's aunt's house. What yep. are you supposed to do with that? So most people throw this away and I grab it because I think it's amazing and we're going to do the same exact thing that you saw earlier. We're going to refresh this and put a lacquer finish on it. This is going to be bright cobalt blue lacquer Ooh. and it's going to continue to have this amazing marble top that is vintage. Like you can't find this marble anymore. And you have a beautiful mirror over there. Yes. And that was probably old and dark but don't be afraid to just paint no, the outside of the mirror. A, exactly. It's from a Newport mansion. It was brought in it was dark and it was refreshed with some lacquer white paint and now it's got a completely new vibe to it. You know I love my cats, except when they scratch the furniture. Kelly says go ahead and do a new leopard rug to refresh your old room. The prints are huge. Huge. I mean that's my neutral. If custom rugs seem out of reach, how about an online deal? And nowadays, you see on the internet all these rugs that can go in the washer. Yes. What do you think about those? Oh, I love ruggables. They're amazing. Ruggables. I have one, yes. The great Connecticut refresh. We can just use what we have, go bold or go home. Yes, and it's in stock. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. All right, there you have it. Kelly convinced me I should go ahead and reupholster my old couch, so I'm going to do that with oak and velvet. Love them. And uh, I'm going to go white, Scott. I can't believe you're going to get a white couch with you kids and cats. You can bleach it. All right. It's the great Better Connecticut refresh. KellyBurke.com for more information. Thank you so much for joining us here in Better Connecticut. The all-important.